Hey, what's going on guys? Log.zip here. This is How to Minecraft, episode 95. Wow, we are really making progress. Today, my friends, is Friday the 13th. A very ominous day known for its histories of misfortunes and terrible things happening on these days. And I felt it was all too appropriate to revisit when my horse died and when I died shortly hereafter over a very simple occurrence. All right, all right. Hey, hey, you piece of. So now that you understand my pain a little bit more, it's time we revisited once again the altercation with our dear, dear friend, Chogo the Chocobo, who, as always, is online, waiting, possibly watching, but always waiting. So today, in remembrance of my horse, we're going to do a fun little event involving his horse. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed. I know I'm gonna get a lot of Choco fans on here hating on me, so if you are a fan of mine or you're enjoying the series, please, Make sure you drop a like on the video to offset the incoming hate that I imagine I am going to get. Remember guys, at the end of the day, it's just a game. But, that being said, you made a big, big mistake, Choco. <laughs> Anyways, we have a little bit of a laundry list for things we're going to need to get this show on the road. For example, we need the following. 30 trip wires, 3 stacks of string, a stack of redstone, 10 repeaters, a lead, sticky pistons, 30 half slabs, and a bunch of cobwebs. Now almost certainly I have all of these things, so I'm going to go ahead and grab them all right now. I don't necessarily want to tell you just yet what I'm up to, but know that it's going to be good, it's going to be a lot of fun, and uh, I can't wait to get started. Sorry, my mommy was calling me. Okay, so we grabbed ourselves the cobwebs and the stone. I'm just reminding myself. So we got, we got the cobwebs, got the half slabs, right, sticky pistons is what we need next. Now you guys are welcome to infer what I may or may not be building, but it is a building. Clearly, so you can go ahead and assume what you will about that. We also need to grab ourselves some leads. And while we're grabbing those, I suppose it would probably be in our interest to grab a couple fences as well. What else do we need? We need ourselves 10 repeaters. Ah, oh, shoot. I am just a couple shy for the repeater department. I'm going to go ahead and make a couple of those real quick. All right, the repeaters are nice and made now. We're going to need that stack of redstone I was just telling you about a split second ago. No, we don't need a stack. I'm just kind of assuming we're gonna at least go through a stack. Because this is an invention I created myself. It's not one I looked up or anything. It's one I experimented with on my creative world. I would show you it, but then you would know immediately what it is. And I kind of want it to be a surprise. And, you know, kind of stringy along, because that's funny to do. That's funny to me. <laughs> we need... Oh, gosh. We need a lot of string. I hope I have enough. I, I should. We need three stacks of string. Three. You three stacks of string? Oh, okay. No, we, we have more than enough. Okay, excellent. That's good. Good thing. Again, this is just an estimate. We might not even need that much string. But it's good to have extra. We also need ourselves... 30, count them, 30 trip wires, but we have more than enough iron for 30 trip wires. In fact, I only need 15, thinking about it, you get two per, I guess, crafting of. <laughs> um, okay, so let me see, we'll go ahead and make these as well. Now, I think it's... Yep, so 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. And I know I saw 
at least one. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So that should be good. Okay, so let me just go. Over. So we got our cobwebs, we got our half slabs, we got our sticky piston, we got our lead, got our fence for the lead temporarily. We got 10 repeaters, stack of redstone through stack of string, 30 trip wires. The last thing we need, and I actually have to go to the nether for this, is um, 11 or 12, somewhere around there, buckets of lava. So, now that we've kind of made our little laundry list and done that right and proper, I'm going to go ahead and just keep it all in here for the time being. Bop, bop, bop. And may as well just throw these in there in case I need them for something at some point or another. Boom. Okay, we will be back once I have my lava. Ba ba da ba 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 da ba ba da ba 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 da ba ba. Well, that was quick. All right, we went ahead and got ourselves more than enough lava buckets because mid lava collection, I actually refined what I want to build, and now it's going to be even more impressive. But it also means we're going to need to add to what we are making, which is fine. I have no problem with that. It's going to be fairly simple to do but we need a bunch of these that should be that should be more than enough so I don't need to worry about making any more of those we're also gonna need an absurd amount of blocks more than likely so I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna use nether rack because I have a decent amount of that gosh I don't even know if I have enough of that because we don't have much for cobblestone so I think I'm gonna use nether rack I'm gonna go ahead and start getting everything ready for transfer and then it's time to build all right, I think we're ready. Keeping all the lava buckets in here for the time being, because, you know, I guess that's just what we should do. <laughs> now, apart from this, we got the, got the great, the great silky pick here, Tai Tai silky pick. You know, I guess what we can go ahead and do now that everything is ready to go, we're going to go ahead and cut over to a different clip I recorded uh, showing the next step in the process. So we'll be back with that in just a second. Next up, we need to uh, allow access to our target. Now, there's a couple ways I could do this, although I want to say the easiest way would simply be using a different type of mechanic. We, we know the oak tree method. That's a great method. That's a tried and true method. However, it's not what we're looking for today. We're going to be employing a little bit of a glitch that involves beds to slowly but surely remove any and all blocks that we could potentially see as being a problem using some simple dirt, some simple grass, and a simple bed. Luckily, I brought lots of grass, and just enough dirt, and really all you need, all you need is one bed. So thankfully, this shouldn't, this shouldn't take too long, but uh, we're trying to get to, well, I guess I'll just show you in a second. So far we're making good progress, it's taking a little longer than I thought, but that's okay, sometimes you gotta work for the, you know, for the things you want. <laughs> well. Definitely glad I brought a whole stack of grass because I did not anticipate having to use this many. But suddenly, the target is visible. And while it's not the cleanest job, I think... I think it'll be enough. So we're going to test right now. You're fine, baby. You're fine. Go ahead and mine you issue here move on up right through here hmm let's go ahead and get rid of that just like that let me see and we're up perfect just what I needed to do so for the time being I'm gonna go ahead and take him on back down yep Okay, that's just fine. And we're going to block all of this up. I guess the next thing we would want to do is set a little trail to be followed. And we want this to be 
not too far out. But I suppose far out for him to grow nervous and tired and weary as he heads in this direction. I think that will be good. Time to think about what happened and things of that nature. So I want to actually give you a rundown in terms of distance, how far he would need to go. So I decided that's good enough in terms of length. It's far enough so that he's not going to be able to see it until he's, you know, somewhat into his journey in this direction, which is good. Like I said, time to think is always nice. Uh, so that is, I believe, either Nooch's farm or that is Pete and Vic's. But either way, it's a, it's a sizable distance in this direction, so that's good. Uh, yeah, we're still going. You can start to see the um, you can start to see the portals inside over there. You know, so I think it's a good distance. So here we are, fully prepared, ready to do this. We're going to leave you for now, friend. You know, I never really had anything against you, Stormy. But... Joko needs to feel the pain that I did. That I did feel. A lot of people are going to say... Well, Tyler... You came at Joko on your horse. What was he supposed to do? To you, I say, if you look there for a solid half moment during that battle, I stopped swinging my sword. In addition, I'll say this to you. All I, all, all, all I did was name a horse. Now, Stormy, while I'm sure Stormy does not appreciate having his or her head being dragged across the ground constantly, I do not believe that was worth pursuing me in the way that our beloved Choco did. There is such thing as proportional response. That was not respected during this. Now, I love Jogo to bits and pieces. But, if there's one thing you should all know about me by now, it's that I get revenge. And this is going to be good. So, I guess we can go ahead and just start building our little project. We need to start with a 7 by 11 little box. So, let's go ahead and... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Now this is gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, no, excuse me, not eleven, but thirteen. What am I crazy? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm just too excited for this. So twelve, thirteen. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then finally, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Perfect. I'll go ahead and fill in these corners as well. This is going to be where all the action is, you know? It's going to be good. Now over on this end, right, right down the middle, and I believe this should be... Is this right in the middle? Oh, I'm so bad. One, two, three, one, two. Okay, so it was. Should have just trusted my, my instincts, you know. <laughs> That's okay, though. I have no problem building this nice and slow because I'm thinking about all the ways that it could be counteracted. There are a couple ways that Choco can come out of this unscathed, and I hope that he does, but I, I my main mission here is to scare Choco and help him realize, hey... What you did is not cool, and it has to be answered for. <laughs> so, along the inside here is our 
13 by 7 area. That's fine. I'm just trying to think of how I might go about doing this next. How could this work? How might this work? Hmm. Hold on a second, guys. Slight, slight modification. Instead of blocks down here, we're going to have pressure plates because they will also do the job properly that I want to be done. And in addition, they will also be another source of despair. So now we're going to go ahead and slowly but surely line this up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just like that. Not there, not there, friend. I will shoot. That's okay. It's probably faster to do it this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, 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 One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. And we'll go ahead and break you now. And we'll break you now. Actually, let me go ahead and stand up here so you can kind of see. Maybe you can start to guess what is being built. Maybe. I don't know. It's possible, I suppose, but I don't know for certain. Now, my friends, we cover. We cover. Next step on the list was to add redstone all to the top here so that when you hit this, that redstone signal is going to go off, and no matter where you hit it, no matter where it gets hit, it's going to send a signal all the way back to this back end, which is where we need it to be. All right, now we've got another update. It's, it's so far so good. We have a little pressure plate there so we can see how far the signal travels. And then up here, we have the signal traveling up via half slabs. It's always fun. And it travels all the way up to the top. I believe it's 12, 13 blocks high. Just enough to power this guy. And over here, we've got a nice little friend. A little fence. A little fence. Yeah. Now we're going to add ourselves a little sticky piston facing downwards into another block right there. Now, obviously, we need to place a block here, too. And then another piece of redstone right there. Okay. So far, so good. Now, upon dropping that, should cause it to eventually make its way on up. Hmm. Maybe not. All right, let's add a couple more repeaters. All right, we went ahead and added the repeaters, and we removed this redstone for the time being, but now the now the power should always reach no matter what pressure plate or what have you gets triggered down there. We're going to place down our little fence friend. Yes, yes. And then there would be redstone here, which means that this would happen. Come on. That fence would be moved down one single block. I think we're pretty safe to go ahead and grab our friend now. So I'm gonna do that. Just gotta break a bunch of this glass, which is fine. That's why I put it here, just so that mobs wouldn't spawn and cause any problems. And certainly they haven't. All right. Break you, break you, break you, break you. Gosh, I placed a lot of glass. <laughs> oh boy. This might take a little bit longer than I Dissipated. Am I gonna have to? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna have to break some more of this. What's the word? Netherrack. <laughs> I like forgot what it's called. What am I crazy? All right, let's see. Push you down. Oh, right, right, right. So we actually need that to kind of remain. That's right. That's what I did. Okay, so break you down. You too. Hey, friend. It's about that time. It's about that time. <laughs> We'll break you too, just like that. And why not? Let's throw you on down too. So this should be this should be good. I don't think I'll I don't think I'll suffocate or anything. Hey, friend! It's about that time. Let's go. Come on. Oh, uh, now I know there's a way to because I got up with you before. Oh, you know what it was. Here's what I did. I need a break. Hmm. All right, let's take a quick break. Come on, don't. I would appreciate it if you did not kill me. 
my armor is gonna break very very soon here all right let's uh you go there you go there and then I think I had that and that instead yeah that looks right okay so let's try this again huh oh yeah much better without any hitches this time now I just gotta jump on up okay and I'm grabbing him now because it's a lot easier to travel back and forth and I actually had to change my contraption a little bit there is a bug with leads I guess in Minecraft where they will occasionally despawn now apparently they don't despawn if the horse is stable on ground but if the horse is for whatever reason potentially just floating around bouncing suspended above something well it's a chance it could despawn so I actually have to change up what I'm doing here just a little bit. The heck? That's weird. That had a zero on it for some reason. Huh, whatever. <laughs> so we're gonna leave him here for the time being. We definitely don't want this pig here and that's the other kind of concern I had. So let's go ahead and place down the rest of these pressure plates so that no pigs are spawning in because I don't think the pigs will spawn on pressure plates because we, we we literally can't have any pigs spawning in here otherwise they could ruin they could ruin it oh I hope I have enough I hope I do I hope I have enough please come on oh no way oh uh, and I have no wood see Friend, this is why I brought you, because now I can go quickly, head back over and get some wood. So our horse friend is actually going to be standing right on top of this block right here, which is going to be attached to an inverted sticky piston, which means we're going to be constantly, I guess, inverting and then uninverting and then inverting, etc., etc., uh, this connection. Right? Because um, that's kind of what needs to happen here. I just need to figure out how to do the wiring, but uh, I'll just pause real quick, huh? Now I'm going to try and make it as inconspicuous as possible, but for the time being, I just need to test that it works. So this should send, this should cause that piston up there to retract. See? This, my friends, this is why we test. So let me figure out why. Why are you, why do you torment me like this, huh? Why do you do this to me? What is causing this to... Okay, maybe if I do that. Hmm, I'm just trying to think. There needs to be a way for me to invert this signal. What if I... What if I did this and then... Aha! So, I break this. That gets pushed, I power it, retracts. Perfect. Now to make it all a little less obvious. There's really only a couple more steps. I went ahead and made a path for us to get the horse up to where he needs to be, which is right up there. Uh, based on our test right now, we can see that that is still working properly. I went ahead and just added See, we're gonna have to add some string up there so that mobs don't spawn. I already added string to all the borders around here, so strings shouldn't spawn there. I just have to do the rest of it. You can see there's string all around this area that should keep mobs from spawning. That should be a non-issue. But you can see that the sticky piston still works. And you can also see that when we invert this, that still works. I went ahead and made everything flush so you can't see any of, um, I guess, what's what the machine is built with. And um, I say we're, I say we're almost ready for showtime. <clears throat> almost. Almost. So we're nearly, we're nearly finished. Notice it is currently outwards, the little piston that our horse friend will be sitting on. The lever causes it to retract, so the horse will start to fall. 
Now, what I made sure to do is ensure that there's nothing that horse could, I guess, catch grip on if he were to, you know, start falling and then land on top of a block, take fall damage, possibly get hurt, die. Making sure that that's not going to happen by adding no places he could stand on, because we're going to eventually break this area, which is why I'm not too mad that the pig is up there, because all these blocks will be gone eventually. We also need to make sure that there's no way for Choco to re-cause this to go out, which means we need to make this kind of a, a self-destructing device almost. And I know how to do that, and I'm going to do it right now. Basically, the way it's going to work is, uh, let's go ahead and Let's go ahead and turn this back off, I suppose. Turn you off. Once again, it's extended how it's supposed to be in its default position. What we're going to do is cause a sticky piston to break the line. Um, which means that once this happens one time, it's not going to happen again. Which is good. So we'll go ahead and set that on a... I mean, I, I don't even think it really needs to be on a delay, to be honest. And uh, by making sure it's not on a delay... Oh, boy. How can we... It's probably... Oh, I guess I could just... Place, place. Okay, good. That's what I want. Alright, so we'll go ahead and put you on back there. Just like that. Now, essentially what this is going to do is... Once Chogo activates that lever over there... It will cause this to detract, and then what will end up happening here is the device will also break itself, I guess. Now, I'm trying to think, because I think I want the device to remain... So let me see. Let me see how this would work. I may have goofed it. We'll see in a second here. See, now in doing that, clearly something... Clearly something went wrong. I guess this activated before it could cause this to activate, which means we do need this on a delay, which is fine. But we actually want it turned off for the time being. Hmm, and actually that, my friends, is not good either. I wish I had a regular piston. It's. I suppose it's not that big of a deal because I could just I'll just move yeah I'll just move this piston back one I didn't think that one through entirely so where do those pistons go there we go just like that okay see that that will do it I believe I believe that should do it maybe hmm perhaps not I want it to... I guess I could just... No, not that, friend. <laughs> okay, that works. It's it's not what I originally planned for, but it works exactly the same. Although, we still need to test to make sure that... Oh man, what is with all these pigs spawning? Get out of here. I went ahead and stringed all this area up as well. So that shouldn't be an issue. Okay, so this is now turned back off. And we'll set the delay on here. I'm just curious to see what happens. So let's go ahead and do that. And we'll see if it retracts at all. So it did, and then it went back. We need to find a way to actually keep this signal on once, um, once I have this one break. Hmm, let me think about this for a second. Okay, I think I figured it out. So right now, it's extended how it's supposed to be, right? Okay. So let's simulate uh, this switch being pulled. What I have now is this little kill switch, which will remove the original power. Once you've done all this, right, that block will push and kill that. This area over here is going to... I think it's some kind of latch. <laughs> I'm such a noob with redstone, um, despite all the redstone. Isn't that funny? So let's simulate power. And you'll see that it now stays. And no matter if this gets turned back off or not, it still stays withdrawn back inwards. So we can go ahead and reset this now. 
And I think, let's try one more time from over here, just in case, because I, I, I literally want, I want no issues. I want this to be perfect. It's, it's what Stormy deserves. So, extended right now. Press the lever, retract it. Tries to press it again. Nothing. Perfect. Almost done. We're on our final couple steps here, friends. Only a couple more things to do. Both have fire resistance now. I'm gonna go ahead and place this sucker down. It's time to line the bottom. So, if I'm correct, I'm almost certainly correct. You can prevent lava flow with pressure plates. Now, this is one, two, three, four, five, so it would go right here. And what we've done is we've gotten just enough blocks of lava to properly get all that in there real good. So let me see. One goes right there. One that goes right there. Now, I might have to figure out exactly... I guess I could just temporarily break this guy to get back in. Okay, we'll do that. Shouldn't be an issue. Okay, so let's grab the rest of the buckets. Alright. Fall right back down here real quick. Shouldn't have killed my horse, Choco. I didn't want to have to do this. But I figured this would be just the right amount of devious, you know? Just enough to make you realize who you're messing with. Okay, so let's go ahead and break that block we just placed down. We don't want to use the silky pig. Heavens no. Break that. Place that down once more. Hmm. We have to be careful. We don't want this to... Okay. So in an ideal world... I guess I could just quickly break it right here, huh? Yeah, okay. That That's, that's smarter, I suppose. So now you've been placed. Place you. Place you. I have two more minutes left of my fire resistance, and now what we need to do is line the tripwire as well. So let's go ahead and line the tripwire on down here. I'm going to go ahead and pop another potion real quick, and we got to be fairly quick about this. In fact, let's refresh it on the horse as well, just in case we need to use that. All right, so I've been refreshed. Now, the reason for the tripwire is so that if he hits any of these pressure plates trying to take out the lava, there's a chance he'll break the tripwire. And if he happens to break the tripwire, and the wire hits one of the other tripwires that is still set, well, that's going to cause the whole thing to activate from any location. Which is exactly what we want. The pressure plates on top will also activate the redstone. And the pressure plates down here will also activate the redstone. So we have three different ways of activating this redstone. This is very easy for him to get out of safely. What I'm relying on him doing is panicking. And messing up somehow. Because if you panic in a situation like this... There's a good chance you're going to make a stupid mistake, like kill my horse, and cause something to go wrong. It's all slowly being lined up, just like this. Good thing we brought all this extra string. I, didn't, I wasn't anticipating needing to line the tops of other blocks to prevent mob spawning from happening, but I'm glad we did that. So that's not safe, so three minutes, that's good. That should be enough. Just like this as well. Almost done. 
I mean, we still got a little bit more time, but yeah, I mean, I'm actually pretty proud of myself. This is the first major redstone-like thing I've made just completely of my own thoughts, and uh, I'm really pleased with how it came out. We have a system that will trigger if any if it detects movement, basically. We have a failsafe where he can't replace by, uh, you know, replacing down the string or what have you. Like I said, overall, very happy with this all. Mm hmm Just like that. And now, it's set from every side. Just like that. Notice they're all downwards. They're all set. So you'll see, right now, if I'm not mistaken, there should be no power powering the top here. Let me let me actually go check that. I'm gonna go, um, hmm. I guess I could just do it from right here real quick and then just break the blocks as I need to. Okay, let me see. So right now, piston is not extended, right? Let's throw in one single block. Hmm. Might be a little harder for it to detect. Or I just missed it. We'll see. Throw in a block. So. That causes that to move downwards. The reason this is all going to work is because when you move a fence that has a lead attached to it, it will cause the lead to disconnect. So if Choco triggers this somehow in any way at all, his horse will die in front of him in a fiery doom. Again, there are ways to fix this. The other thing, though, is even if he splashes the horse with fire resistance, fire resistance does not negate, or I should say, lava, falling in lava does not negate fall damage. So even if the horse is completely immune to fire, I really want this fire that I'm lit on to stop. <laughs> the horse will still take fall damage. And if the horse is suspended in the air for long enough, the game is going to think it's constantly falling through the sky, which means the moment it hits ground, it will basically blow up. So I've thought this through very thoroughly, I suppose is the word for it. It's, I've thought this through extremely thoroughly. Now it's just time to bring the horse on up. Everything is set. So now we need to be very careful about doing this because this all could be for nothing right now if I screw up the horse. So let's take care of you, friend. It's about that time. Potential problem that I'm glad I realized right now when I break this path it could set you know it could set this whole thing off so I'm wondering if there's a way I could just do this from this side over here I think I made a mistake in lining the tripwire I should I, I needed to put the horse up there first and then and then set the tripwire last that's that's my mistake. So let's go ahead and uh, gather ourselves and see what we need to do next. Actually, I just realized the this, the most simple of solutions would just to be to um, break this portion temporarily. Yeah, because now look. Nothing happens. So thank goodness for that. 
I was like, shoot, I only have one more splash potion of fire resistance. I'm gonna have to go all the way home to get another. But we figured it out because we're smart. I hope we're smart. <laughs> Let's do this. Come on, buddy. It's about that time. Were you hit with it? Yes, you were. All right, friend. This is going to be a very, very delicate process. Very delicate process. Oh, what do you just can't jump at all or something? This isn't even that good of a horse. Look at this. I can barely get up these steps. This is only two blocks high. Okay. Now the best part about it all is he's literally going to be <laughs> hanging upside down. I think that's funny. Let's um Let's make this a little safer just temporarily, you know what I mean? Cuz I really don't want you to fall in, friend. I do not want you to fall in. Not yet. <laughs> All right, buddy. We have to do this fairly quickly because I need to get him on this specific block. And then I need to quickly break the other blocks around it. Now see, I'm a little nervous that he's about to jump on these blocks. So let's do that really quickly. Okay. No. I don't want to do that either. I'm kind of racing the clock here. We only have about three minutes. All right, now, 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 friend. I don't think so. Hmm, how do we want to do this real quick? Oh boy. Okay. So we need to just push him into this little nook that we just made. Push him on into that. Lead him first. Push him on into there. You're now led, I suppose, is the right word. Hey. Oh, I'm hitting him. That's what it is. Okay, well that's not good. I didn't mean to hit you, friend. I'm sorry. Okay, we need to be very careful. He'll heal. He'll heal. Let's try this again. Two minutes. We shouldn't have such a strong pickaxe. I don't even want to see what his health is at right now. Okay, push you on in there. How did that happen? Why did that happen? Why did that happen? That shouldn't have happened. There's no reason that should have happened. Oh gosh, we have to act so quickly now. Oh no. I don't understand why that, I think I accidentally, oh, I think I accidentally, I did. Oh shoot. I accidentally broke. Where are those buckets? I have to do this very quickly. I have one minute. Oh man, this is not good. I have to do this extremely quickly. Quickly. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. Yo, this is, this is stressful.
that's all of it. Okay, that looks like all of it. This, my friends, is why I brought the cobweb. That could be a problem right there. Okay. Oh, man, this is very stressful. I messed it up by breaking. Dang it, that's so frustrating to me. It's fine, though. Horse is alive. No. Something was activated over here somehow. How? I'm afraid I don't understand how that happened. Whatever. Let's go ahead and place another half slab back. Yikes. Talk about stressful, huh? Place you there. Be quick. All right, let's activate you. Hope for the best. <laughs> you are lucky, my friend. You're very lucky. Well, time to get some more fire resistance and try again. I know what the issue is. The redstone on this side powered this redstone. I just need to move this clock back a smidgen and everything will be fixed, which is great. Now, I'm glad I, I'm glad I figured that out. Turns out mobs can spawn on top of string. So thank you, Zasuma Void, for Minecraft myth busting that because I just found out about it. And I'm glad that I did. <sighs> Take two. We've been boosted. Let's go, friend. It's your time to shine. All right. I'm glad it happened this way. Because now I'm able to make sure that nothing can go wrong. We half slabbed everything. Everything is now prepared and ready. It was better this way. I, I, I'm actually very happy that it ended up the way it did. Let's get this pickaxe ready now. You in that corner there, friend? You are. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. I think we're good. I think we're fine. Okay. 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 This is good. This is good. Okay. Just like that. Trap is set. Your move, Choco. Don't mess with my horse. That's the way it's going to be. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of How to Minecraft. We'll see you for the next one. Bye-bye.